Hello YouTube, this is Frugal and welcome to Frugal Sim News for Sunday, January the 4th. This is the first episode of YouTube's only dedicated Sim News show. We're going to have new episodes of Frugal Sim News every single Sunday and the idea of the show is to cover the week's news for simulator pilots. This first edition, however, being the first edition, we're going to look back a little bit at some of the news that came up from the Christmas period. Now probably the biggest news is the release of Dovetail Games FSX Steam Edition on December the 18th. Dovetail picked up the license for FSX from Microsoft in the middle of last year and we're talking about doing a release of a new Steam edition as soon as they could and that turned out to be December 18th after only just one week's notice to the community. FSX Steam Edition includes a number of fixes like the high, mem uh, high memory fix that we all typically make in the config, the UI automation core DLL fix. They also addressed some memory management issues. Now I wouldn't see this right now as the holy grail of getting rid of out of memory errors. You're still going to get those but they did fix some of the out of memory Memory, some of the memory management issues. Other big changes are that multiplayer now runs with Steam. The original FSX, or classic FSX as we should call it, used the GameSpy system to set up uh, multiplayer matchmaking and lobbies. Now that all runs through Steam, so improved and fixed multiplayer. They also improved Windows 8 compatibility, which I know is a big item for a lot of you. A notable point from their patch notes is that FSX Steam Edition also uses a more modern version of the Microsoft Visual C++ runtime. That translates to some very minor performance improvements. Now, I've noticed reports from the community at large of seeing dramatically improved performance running FSX Steam Edition. I'm still investigating that personally. FSX, a clean install of FSX, even the classic one, will typically run better than an FSX install that has a lot of add-ons because of the way FSX loads in DLL and third-party extensions. They can all slow the sim down. So a brand new install of FSX without any of those things on will typically run really well indeed. We'll do some more investigation and testing to prove out whether or not the performance improvements are smoke and mirrors or very real. FSX Steam Edition is largely compatible with existing add-ons, and we say largely because there are reports of a number of add-ons not working, notably the PMDG aircraft having problems, and some reports of Orbex uh, scenery add-ons having some problems. Another feature, though, of the FSX Steam Edition is it does support side-by-side -side installs. What that means is if you have FSX Classic already installed, then you can still go ahead, buy and install FSX Steam, and the two sims will run just fine. In my investigation, that did bring up some problems in that most or many third-party add-ons don't like to be installed into two versions of FSX at the same time. So from what I saw in my brief look at it, to get the best value out of FSX Steam Edition, you really need to wipe out your FSX Classic install, and for many people, that's a big no-no. Now, Dovetail have said that while there are some functional changes in FSX Steam Edition, in terms of content, nothing new has been added over and above FSX Classic. So if you are an existing FSX Classic user, there really is no hard reason to upgrade or migrate, I should say, to FSX Steam Edition at this time. However, Dovetail have said that they're going to continue making bug fixes and changes, and those bug fixes, changes, and enhancements will only apply to the Steam Edition. So at some point, it does make sense that we all upgrade if we wish to continue continue flying with FSX. Important to note as well that the general Steam release does put FSX into the hands of a whole bunch of new users and that's likely to drive more third-party development. In fact, we're already seeing some signs of this. With the developers behind EasyDoc stepping up and releasing a new version of their product, uh, which supports both FSX, Classic, FSX Steam and P3D. More on that in a second. In addition, FSUIPC has now been updated to support FS9, all versions of FSX and all versions of P3D. FSX Steam Edition is available on Steam right now for $24.99 and there will be videos coming on FSX Steam on this channel when I do a full in-depth analysis of it after I rebuild my machine and by virtue of doing that rebuild have to remove FSX Classic. Easy Doc and now has a version 1.18 beta available for all to download, if you already have EasyDoc, that is. 1.18 beta supports all versions of FSX as well as prepared straight out of the box with no tweaking, which is a good thing. There are some complex steps that must be followed to get the beta to install and run properly, so if you do go and pick up the beta from the link in the show notes below, be sure to follow the release notes very carefully to get it all working. And because it's a beta, everybody that uses EasyDoc is going to need to follow these notes. The the version that you can download from Flight 1 when you buy EasyDoc is not the 1.18 beta, obviously it's a much older version, so everybody uses old and new will need to manually patch their version of EasyDoc. 
In addition to that, FSU IPC was updated. One of the problems that Steam Edition had out of the box was that it did not support FSU IPC or vice versa. FSU IPC did not support the Steam Edition. That's now changed and a new version of FSU IPC is now available. Now, immediately after Christmas, Rex, makers of awesome weather and environmental texture packs, announced Rex Soft Clouds at a stunning $10.95 price tag. Rex Soft Clouds introduces volumetric like soft cloud textures for FSX and all versions of Prepared. Also, retextures the volumetric haze and fog that you have in those sims, particularly in Prepared. Now, it's not a weather engine, it does work with whatever other texture packs you're already using and whatever other system, weather system, you're already using, but it's just generally a reskinning of the volumetric stuff, the clouds, the mist, the fog that you get primarily in prepared, but also in FSX. It's well worth checking out at only $10. Now, explain 10 users shouldn't feel left out. Over the Christmas period, we had two new free releases for explain 10, which are both pretty phenomenal. AL Pilot X who has in the past made a bunch of free high definition meshes for the entire planet available, has released version three of his HD mesh. And these are three to four times more dense than the default X-Plane 10 meshes. If you don't know what a mesh is, it's basically the set of triangles that make the 3D landscape that you fly over. Um, based on OpenStreetMap data released in October last year, he's got a number of fixes in HD mesh version three, including no more roads over the airport, some missing lakes have been restored, some airports or many airports in fact have been updated to remove trees from the airports, over 850 of them in fact, and this is completely free. Well, that's not quite true, it's donationware. If you do download it and like it and use it, it's a good idea, it's very uh, honorable to go and make a donation to AL Pilot X for his hard work. Uh, AL Pilot X HD Mesh version three is available for download at the link in the show notes below. Be aware that it is very big, you'll probably wanna use BitTorrent to download everything. And secondly, Pumper's Realistic 777 Cockpit Textures. That's a mouthful. Uh, Pumper has released a reskin for Flight Factors 777 for X-Plane 10, and the forum seem to have very well received this. The textures are a lot more realistic than the default Flight Factor textures in the 777 cockpit. They're less red and uh, more normal, I think, in terms of the colors, far more realistic, a really high quality set of textures. And again, as often is the case in X-Plane 10, these are completely free. Download Pumper's Realistic 777 Cockpit Textures from from the link in the show notes below. And finally, this past week, Orbex announced a brand new release, and we're covering it in this new show because Orbex obviously are a key maker of scenery for FSX and prepared users. Orbex announced FTX NA Monument Valley. Now, Monument Valley is only $12, but includes 20 fully modeled mountains in the Monument Valley area, as well as full 3D modeling of key points of interest, such as hotels, visitor centers, football pitches, and so on. Also comes with a full set of seasonal textures. So. The thing with Monument Valley is it has some fairly unique coloring in terms of the uh, soil and the mountains and stuff around there. So putting in a seasonal texture pack is actually quite a big deal. The coloring of that area does change dramatically throughout the year. So $12 Orbex FTA Monument Valley available right now. Link in the show notes below. And that's pretty much it for this very first episode of Frugal Sim News. As I said, the show comes out every single Sunday. Be sure to hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber to this channel. And I will see you all next week. Thanks for watching.